Hey guys, Shannon Gondra here with Therapy by Shannon and today we're going to go through some specific coping skills um, that can be really helpful for young adults. Um, so I'm kind of just going to list them out and um, just kind of explain them a little bit and uh, if you do go to the, the typed out blog at therapybyshannon.com you can kind of see um, all the written descriptions but you can also um, there's different links out under each description that may be helpful for you in figuring out um, different ways that can help you integrate these coping skills and um, self-care strategies into your life. So um, the first one uh, that we're going to talk about is stretching. So you don't need to like really get up to do this one, like literally just like stretch your arms up, um, like lean over to one side, lean right and lean left, like maybe lean forward move backward, twist a little bit, like take that time, whether it's intentional stretching through like a yoga class or anything like that, or just like five seconds at your desk, like take the time to stretch your body and to thank your body for being able to do everything that it can do for you. Um, another self-care strategy is walking. So like either again, an intentional walk in AM or PM, or just a small choice throughout your day to take the stairs opposed to taking the elevator or maybe like walk around your building during your lunch break um another thing is you can go for a run so um it doesn't really matter like again <laughs> if it's intentional or not or how long or how short it is but just like get out there um and for you treadmill runners you know get in there um to get your sweat on um another good self-care strategy is to sit still so Literally, I'm just meaning like sit still, do nothing, um, focus on nothing for those um, that are trying to do it now, I suppose. It's probably a little bit harder than what it seems like, um, but the whole point of it is that um, practice will make perfect. Um, and so keep doing it like a little bit longer bit by bit each time and you will become more comfortable with the stillness um, and with doing nothing because we're not really used to doing nothing a lot of the times um, in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, another thing is to get some sunshine. So go outside, soak it up. Um, if you are inside the majority of the day, make sure you spend some extra time um, in the sunshine, maybe like while you're walking to your car. Um, the sunshine has like so many natural helpers and it's rays and um, we need to be able to soak it up. Um, so. Make sure you can kind of do that as you can, but while you're out there, make sure you're also wearing your sunscreen um, and your protection so we don't get any sunburns. Um, the next self-care strategy is to breathe, and that kind of sounds like duh, but obviously we're all breathing right now, but be intentional with your breaths and like focus on your breathing and your inhales and your exhales and try to do it for um, like a minimum of 10 minutes seconds a day, I suppose, or 10 breaths, um, and really see if you can be intentional on like counting to 10 while you're breathing um, without any external stimuli or distractions, and you'll be um, you're kind of surprised at how long it probably takes you or how many tries it takes you to sit there and focus on your breath without having your to-do list or all those other things pop up. Most people honestly can't get past um, their second or third breath without having a distraction. So again, the idea is to breathe mindfully and with intention, um, and that practice will make perfect. Um, over time of integrating this self-care strategy into your day-to-day -day life, um, another thing you can do is cloud watch. So um, you know you don't have to like lay down on the ground and stare at the sky for hours unless you want to. More power to you. But maybe just like take a moment and mm, go walk around Cherokee Park or something like that. Sit on a bench and like look up at the sky, um, and really just be grateful. Um, for for the world and, and everything that it's bringing to you and the beauty that is in um, the clouds and the shape that they take. Um, another self-care strategy is napping. Of course, we all don't have time to nap, um, but try taking like a 10 or 30 minute nap um, if you can, and don't be kind of fooled by the short time frame. Like short naps really can do wonders. So, you know, on, on a weekday or a weekend, maybe just try that and see how you're feeling after that. Um, another self-care strategy is to eat slowly. So though you may be starving when you sit down for that dinner, don't scarf down your food right away. Be intentional about what you're putting 
um, into your mouth, one, but also be intentional about the utensil that you're using, um, you know, how that utensil feels in your hand and how the food feels when it enters your mouth, opposed to just grabbing whatever's closest and shoveling it into your mouth. Um, because the, the process of eating slowly is, is really a good self-care strategy um, for, for your body and just for your digestion as well. Um, another thing you can do is you can walk around barefoot. Um, and so you can ground yourself and there's more information on this linked out um, in the web description, but uh, you can do this in your backyard, you can do this in a park or at a lake or at a beach or anything like that. But the idea is just to be able to join yourself with the world around us um, and to kind of remove that barrier um, from your shoes or your socks and just kind of really get in touch with the earth and the ground. Um, another self-care thing you can do is you can change the way you make choices. And so a lot of times we get into these like autopilot or automatic thought patterns and those just kind of take over. So for example, like if you usually plan your dinners around like whatever's left over in your fridge, like maybe try to be more intentional and plan your meals out throughout the week and, and just kind of change the way you make choices throughout your day to day. Um, you can also um, like around your house or maybe around your office or your apartment, you can fix a small annoyance that's going on. So like if your shower curtain rod keeps falling down every time you go into the bathroom, like fix it. Fix it now and enjoy knocking that small annoyance off your to-do list. Um, and though it doesn't really seem like self-care, that is a really big self-care strategy um, to be able to integrate um, into your day-to-day -day life. Um, another thing is to be selfish. Um, again, doesn't seem like a self-care strategy, but just do one thing a day that makes you happy. Um, and, and sometimes that may slip your mind. Um, so it may not be something you do every day, but just something that makes you happy, makes you smile, makes you goof off, makes you uh, kind of lighten up a little bit. Just try it. Um, you can also start a compliments file on your computer. And so um, just kind of vowing that everything, whether it's a journal entry or whether it's just a quote or a picture or anything like that, um, is going to be a compliment to you and or to some other person. And um, then you can kind of go back and review that file and, and read it kind of weeks later and um, just kind of uh, see how it makes you feel. Um, another thing you can do is you can declutter. So something, anything or everything, like you can declutter um, the apps on your phone, you can declutter your computer files, your car, you can go through your clothes and declutter that, or your desk, or your room, or your house, or all the above. Um, but just take some time to really be intentional about um, like what you're keeping in your life and, and how you're spending your time. Um, another thing you can do kind of in regards to your phone or social media is to unplug. So maybe that's from all, you know, digital devices or maybe it's for a whole day or maybe it's just for 10 minutes, but spending some quality time with yourself and or with your loved ones without the distraction from your phone or technology um, can, can be really empowering um, and good self-care as well. Um, kind of sticking on the social media train, you can unfollow helpful or you can unfollow unhelpful people on social media and you can follow helpful people people on social media um you can read so anything like nowadays um we're really used to like skimming pretty much everything we see whether it's an article or if it's um something on your twitter feed um but really like take some time to focus on like one blog or one article or one book or comic um, or really anything, and just be intentional about what you're reading, opposed to just like skimming over the title and looking at the pictures. Um, another self-care strategy you can do is to help someone. So this can be as simple as opening a door for someone, or carrying a bag, or you can mow your neighbor's lawn. Um, you know, just do, doing something um, big or small for someone else throughout your day. Um, another thing you could do is you could take another driving route to work. So um, just kind of by switching up your normal routine in the slightest way can create new neural pathways in the brain and, and that can just assist in keeping those, those small mundane things that we do throughout our days um, a little bit spicy and a little bit healthier. Um, if you are into animals, you can pet an animal. Of course, um, ask the owner first if it's not your animal, if you can pet them. But maybe, um, you know, while you're in the park, 
getting your walk on and cloud watching and soaking up the sun, you can also stop by and pet an animal. Um, every once in a while, it's a really good self care strategy to splurge on something. So maybe something that you've had your eye on for a while or you've been saving up for, um, allowing yourself to indulge once in a while um, can be really good and really appropriate self care. Um, with that indulgence, sometimes that looks like maybe taking yourself to the spa. So um, letting yourself relax at the spa one day and treating yourself to a facial or massage or um, pedicure or something like that can be um, really helpful. Um, a couple more. So um, another thing you could do is um, you can journal. So you can like write down your thoughts. Um, and kind of while you're journaling, you really want to make sure that you're leaving your filters and your judgments at the door and you're just like allowing this to be a total brain dump. So some days it might be like an entire page length of, um, you know, writing and thoughts and, and brain dumping. And then other times it may just be two sentences or so. And either way, it's, it's really beneficial for you to get those thoughts um, out of your head and onto paper. So they're not just uh, running around in there, um, distracting you and, and causing you uncomfortable symptoms. Um, another thing you can do to help with those racing thoughts is you can meditate and this is another thing too it doesn't have to be long but just kind of like set your timer on your phone for a minute um, and bring your awareness to where your mind goes and how your breathing is um, feeling in your body and if you feel any tenseness throughout your body um, and just just kind of take that moment to be with yourself and, and to meditate a little bit um, you can also ask for help so this is a really big self-care strategy and also probably one of the hardest. Um, so this can be in a big way or in a small way, but just reach out to someone for something. Um, uh, you can also uh, learn how to say no to people. So you can um, set your boundaries and stick to them um, with yourself or with work or within your relationships. And that can have really good benefits for um, you in the long run. Definitely not an easy one, but definitely can have a lot of benefits for you and your um, livelihood. Um, and then another one that we don't do a lot as adults, and we kind of forget about when we exit that childhood or adolescent phase, is goofing off. So we want to be able to take that intentional time to like let our hair down and allow yourself to play. Um, of course, that word play looks a little bit different um, when you say it to a five-year-old than when you say it to a 25-year-old, but... You know, you can play by yourself, you can play with your partner, your friends, your kids, your coworkers, um, just kind of allowing yourself to goof off and to take off um, all the different hats that you wear throughout the day. Um, but lots of information, but I hope that was helpful for you in learning some different self-care strategies that are out there. Um, and if you want to learn more about me or my counseling services, you can check me out on Facebook or on Instagram at Therapy by Shannon. And you can also um, check me out at my webpage at therapybyshannon.com. Okay, bye.